Matt Carter, Bitsby Trip, and it's been a minute. We're going to get right into this one. This is a quick video. Normally, I would like to do a live stream with this, but I'm just trying to get some new content out to you guys straight to YouTube. What we're going to be doing today is the power analysis on a 6900 XT when it comes to mining. So we're, this is a 1X riser. We got the 12 volt rails plugged in. The riser is being pow powered by a six pin direct from the 850 watt power supply that's in this computer. And we're gonna be monitoring it actually on the meter and you'll see that here in a minute. The main point of this is if folks are using the 6900 XT to do some mining and they have several of them, we wanna measure how much power is that draw on that riser? A lot of folks also use SATA power connectors, which if you're using more than one or sometimes even one SATA power connector, you can actually burn up that cable if it's drawing too much power. SATAs weren't really designed to draw more than 50 watts of power from our analysis here. And that's just years of experience of burning up some SATA risers that are using 60 plus watts continuous. You wanna keep it at about 50 watts if you're gonna to continue to use the six pin to SATA type of connector, or it's also nice to know how much it is actually using at the riser level. So we're gonna do that quick analysis. We're gonna see it running on Ethereum. I'm gonna run it on a couple other algorithms that are more core intensive. As you know, Ethereum is a memory intensive algorithm. So it's most of its effort is on memory, so it doesn't need to have a heavy amount of core, but it still doesn't mean that it's not gonna pull a lot of power from the riser. So we're gonna measure both and that way you guys have some you know, data on the 60. 900 XT. The whole power of this rig right now, just at idle. This is the graphics card plugged in. This is the machine running. We're at 20, about 22, 23 watts of power total system usage at idle. So we have that baseline now. To riser power. So it at idle is using 2.5 watts of power. You can see that there on the screen. And if we take a little switch here to look at what's the 12 volt draw, let's switch this you can see right down here is your 12 volt draw so that's 4.6 so we have the 4.6 from 12 volt and we have 2.5 from the riser itself we'll leave it on the riser and we're going to take a look here as we start up eth just the base settings if you were to download a miner and run it so let's take a look team red 0.8.1 the, also the amd driver some people will want to know this the amd driver that we're running right now we're going to come over here is the 21.2.1 this is as a release date of 127 of 2021 let's go in here and just run right if you were to download this same copy just run eth so it's going to fire up eth base stock settings again no change to memory no change to core this is out of the box and let's look at what the draw is kind of look it's are the uh aqua look there where it's eight nine five two is the configuration it's using auto tuning is complete now let's take this last measurement to see what it ends up getting all right so we're at 58.26 mega hash and we're keeping everything stock so let's switch over to we're using 70 76 watts of power to the riser when it comes to the 12 volt rail so the 12 volt rail is in, using 159.7 so you got the 75 plus almost 160 watts of power there it is 160 so let's just call it 160 and then the 75 on the actual card itself and let's take a quick look at the full system power full system power is about 307 so we're looking at about 280 watts we're going to keep this here and we're going to take this back to negative three and we're going to actually we're going to take this all the way to negative 10 on the power limit so as this is spinning up we're going to take a look at the riser real quick so we're a little over 50 which is fine i mean it's just really when you're pushing a lot higher over 50 watts like when we were at 71 so we're at 50 watts there on the riser and we're about 105 106 and there we go we're about 63.3 i think if we gave it a little more power we could get to the 64 but honestly i think this is going to be the most efficient that it can be if we look at the total system power use we are setting at about 207 so remember it's about 40 it's 22 at idle it's probably using about 40 watts for the system itself preset automatic default settings so this is going to reset everything to just automatic settings if you're out of the box you just installed it and we're going to check uh, uh you know kapow so this is going to be ravencoin mining and we're going to see ravencoin performance and power draw on the 6900 here so the 12 volt rel is pulling almost 170 watts now this is going to ravencoin is going to pull tdp it's going to pull full tdp on this card so 178 on the that and we are at ooh 
85 watts. 85 watts coming off that riser, guys. That's a lot of power. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, if you are letting this thing set at 85 watts of power on that riser, you are absolutely unequivocally going to burn up your 12-volt SATA rail. And it looks like we're holding off at about 31 mega hash right now on Kapow using the 6900 here. This will definitely temperature throttle the card because it's doing a heavy load on the core. So we would want some nice fan adjustments here, but we're holding about 31.6 mega hash right now, bone stock on this card. And you can see its core is getting about 2200. The core is only sitting at 2200 right now. If we're at about 346, which is quite a bit. Power to hash rate that you can achieve. And I'm going to do a, just a quick adjustment on here to show you guys kind of what's in the realm of possible here with bringing your power down and still getting a pretty decent amount of hash rate here on this card. Now, personally, I would go through here and I would set this. We're going to take this all the way down to 825. We're going to take this to 1600. Let's see, actually, uh, 1575. We're going to see if we starve it a little more. Let's see what we're looking at here. Now, it may have crashed here. With these current settings, we'll see. Nope, it's running. Good. We're at 26. Let's go ahead and check and see. All right, we're still setting at 65. So the core is still printing it pretty hard. We're still at 131. We're still at 250 full system. So that's about 210 watts with 60 of it coming from. And it's still showing 32 mega hash. So I think we could actually pull this way, way down with some of this testing here. So again, we're still way low on power. This is actually grossly efficient for the power um, in the output. So we're still at 32 mega hash, even with the core barely just, just barking here. Pull this down a lot more. Let's go to 1220. We are at negative there. Let's give it some more memory usage. 2150. So 1220, 825, 2150 memory. We'll put the memory timing to fast, negative 10 power limit, and we got the fans to handle any kind of heat up here. And let's take a look at this. And again, what our goal here is, is I'm trying to get the riser power draw to around 50 as much as possible. I do not like the power pulling from the riser as much as it, it does. And it could be just the limitation of this GPU uh, when it comes to core heavy applications to where it's going to pull at least 60 watts of power from the from the actual riser itself. So we're at 1178 cores, what it locked in at, 2138 memory. And we're gonna check riser power real quick again. We're still at 64, but we're seeing the spikes come way down. So when it, when it is pulling heavy on the core, we're averaging 47 to 63. So it's not a continuous 64 watts. So when it's getting that load of that, that core activity, so certain uh, the way uh, Kapow works, there is you know a core heavy cycle when it's doing that core heavy cycle, obviously we're spiking up to 64 watts, but I would say the average pool on this is probably somewhere around in the 50s because we are dropping to 47, but you can see the power fluctuation there um, that's being pulled on the riser, which is a very interesting metric that I have not seen on any other really algorithms um, where you're having a spike up to 66, 50 there. So you are having this variable rate on the riser. We can see that. So it is a variable rate also on the 12 volt rail where it's dropping down to 100 watts. So your math on that, it's, it's gonna be pretty significant. It has a lot of wild power swings there. You know, over time that might be more impactful because of the variance the variance of the load and it looks like now we're at you know 29 mega hash i would get personally go to where it isn't swinging i would find that balance where it's not sitting there swinging the power as much as it is we are at holding out about 30 mega hash we did drop two mega hash by dropping it to that low right there where you're, you're looking at it swinging from 180 watts to 235. I would think that over time with that kind of swinging like that, um, I mean, it's not really close to the total power draw of the power supply's potential, kind of seesaw type of event that, I mean, I would look to find the balance where it's not swinging like that. I would say your average power draw on this over time was probably around 208 to 210 watts. But hopefully you guys like that. It showed some, it actually showed you the real effects like if you are adjusting the power at the riser in the 12 volt rail level. And if you're planning or if you have access to do 6900 XTs, I personally don't recommend it because I think that the ROI on them is going to be very tight. Reduction of power, reduction of heat, that sort of thing. These cards are uh, exceptional. So um, 
There are better alternatives to the RTX line right now, just because of their, they have a much larger memory interface. So you're looking at 320, 380, you know, 320 to 384 bit memory interface with DDR6X is a little, it's performing better than what AMD's current offering is with the current setup and drivers that we have. So we'll see what the next line of AMD's that come out uh, and if they can get more efficiency uh, for their power. So again, thanks guys. Hopefully this was a real informative one for you and I'll catch you on the next one.